Hey guys, Kelly here again with eXp Realty and I wanted to share with you guys today a really interesting way to add a layer to your current marketing for listings. Now I know I've talked a lot on the side about FISBOs and expireds and, and while they don't need to be your only source of clientele, they're powerful in the sense that they've already had expressed a desire to want to sell their home. If they're a FISBO, they just have not gotten with a real estate agent yet that has an offer that makes sense. You know, the FISBO, and I'm not going to teach you the dynamics or psychology of the FISBO, but they think they can sell it, save a lot of money, and, you know, some of them do. But the majority of them don't, and they end up losing money. So you need to be able to craft an offer that just absolutely makes sense. An expired an expired homeowner is frustrated because obviously they didn't sell their home. Uh, the real estate agent that they picked either didn't tell them the truth about their condition or pricing or just had no marketing plan. So again, there is just an absolute um, plethora of potential clients that you can go after. Now I'm going to show you something that you literally can do every day, spend anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes a day and add this to your marketing layers and generate multiple listings throughout the year just by doing this. Now, this does not include cold calling, uh, but it, what it does include is having a system in play. Now, a couple things that I want you to, to understand before you implement something like this. You gotta have an offer. You need to have an offer to the for sale by owner or the expired that just makes sense for them to wanna come see you. You need to have systems in play. You need to be able to, to articulate your offer without having the for sale by owner or expired think you're mumbling and stumbling and you're not comfortable or sure of what you're saying. So your offer has to be strong. It has to be something ingrained within you. And you have to not come across as a real estate agent looking for a listing. You need to come across as somebody who can be a partner, whether they list with you or not. You are their go-to agent that they can call for advice. They can call for some assistance if you if you are uh, marketing yourself as somebody who can refer them to handymen, maids, a real estate closing attorney, or different things. Every once in a while, drop a marketing bomb. Hey, have you guys thought about doing this? Those are some things that can make you the trusted real estate advisor, and that's what they're looking for. And you will run across these ever so often that are at the point of frustration and says, come see me, I'm ready to list. Um, those are gifts. Don't run this type of marketing uh, strategy based on that, but you will get those too. And when you get those, just thank God for it. Go list it, and that'll be the gravy on top of the mashed potatoes. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I use a company called MyPlusLeads.com, and I also have access to Red X and, and different sites. I use MyPlusLeads specifically for expires and FISBOs for this reason. A lot of the data that I get from them contains cell phone and email addresses. Now, you're going to get some of these, these email addresses that are old or bad, some of the phone numbers, and they also mark what's do not call. But again, for the purpose of the video, I just want to show you something you can set. We'll call it a fun and gun marketing strategy and do every day uh, and do it with a purpose. So while I'm not cold calling these, I am going to do an email. If they're a DNC and they have a cell, I'll do a short text, and then I'm going to send them a letter. So I've got multiple marketing touches going out in the first seven to 10 days. Um, so here we go. So I log into my, actually I get an email every morning sent to my uh, real estate Gmail account and it'll be from this company saying, here's a list of FISBOs and expires we found in your area in the last 24 hours. So I'll get an email from them every day in the morning. So today I got an email and this is what showed up for today. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and of the six, only one doesn't have an email address. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes you'll get some that don't have any email addresses. So you just have to go and flow with it. This site also gives me the ability, guys, to search older data. Like I can go in and search for expires from six months ago, a year ago. Um, I can tell you, real estate agents are not going after old expires. I can also do the same for FISBOs. So here we go. I get the email. I open it up. I come to the account. And the very first one is a for sale by owner. So typically what I do is I'll go and check it online. And I'll look at the Zillow listing. And there it is. And it says off market. So it doesn't say current for sale by owner. So that's a concern to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy the address. I'm going to go into one of my real estate tools. 
uh, RPR. I'm going to put their address in to see if it's listed with an agent. Obviously, if it's with an agent, I'm not going to reach out to them. There's no reason, and it's an ethics violation. So right now it says that that address is worth up to that price. Um, here is the owners. I'm going to check that with the data. And there, there they are right there. They were listing it for $350. So I don't know if the house is in really bad shape or what, but the price point they were listing looks like it might be really low. So here we go. There they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this email address right here. I'm going to come back and grab that one in a second. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add it to my Gmail. I'm going to go back and grab this secondary email. Boom. Now, if you notice, there's no content. What I don't want to do is I don't want to come in here and spend three hours putting fresh content, right? I want this content to already be done. And I don't want to have to log out of Gmail to go to Word to pull up a document to copy paste. So what, what Gmail allows you to do, guys, I'm not going to tell you how to do it on this video. Go to YouTube, search how to do a canned email in Gmail, and it'll show you how to set up pre-populated emails. Uh, that you can go to anytime you want and send that email out. So down here, there's a three little buttons. I click it. I go to templates and I'll scroll. You see all of these are pre-done emails. So I'll go down to, let me do this one. You want buyers for your home. So when an email goes out to a FISBO, it's going to say, you want buyers for your home? What does a FISBO want? Buyers for their home. So I'm hoping that they are going to open this email up and allow me the opportunity to communicate with them. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, uh, but I'm giving them some free tools, a free property website, some aerial drone pics if they want it, a free 800 number. Um, here's why I'm willing to do all of this, blah, blah, blah. So what happens at this point, guys? I'm going to hit send. Let me get back out of here. And I'll repeat that process for the next five minutes on every one of these. So guys, you see how, oh, let me show you one that is an expired. So here's an expired right here, and it gives me the MLS number. So I'm going to jump in here. Now, why I'm doing this, you're going to run across some of these expires that have been relisted, right? So I'm going to check before I communicate with them. So it says expire, but sometimes you can't go off of that MLS number. So I'm going to go all the way down here and I'm going to click and it does not look like it's relisted. And it looks like they started in January. They were at 340 and they dropped the price. Oh, and look at here. This is a fellow. So um, Miss Rivera, if you're watching my video on Workplace and you see this, I'm using your listing. Don't get mad at me. It just happened to pull up. So here's one that a uh, fellow EXP agent uh, listed and um, go EXP. So Miss Rivera, go back and get him to re-sign with you. How about that girl? So let's just say, and by the way, as an EXP agent, this is one of the things I'm looking for. I'm not going to send your client or your, your past client the opportunity to relist with me. Uh, that's just, I won't do that. But anyway, um, this is a owner motivated will assist. So I'm looking to make sure over here that it's not agent related. To owner. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm sending out this information to the right person. So there you go. There it is right there. So what I would do on that now that I've known, now that I've ascertained it's not relisted, um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy all of that stuff. I'm going to go back over to my Gmail account. And I'm going to put their email here. And then I already have, I'm not going to show it to you right now because I'm testing one out, but I've got a killer expired email that I'm sending out right now. And again, boom, I'll hit send and then I will wait on the responses. Now, let me give you one more really cool thing. If you don't have a Google voice, if you have a Google uh, email, a uh, Gmail, I'm sorry. Yeah. Gmail that you're using. Um, I use Google voice and let me show you something really cool. So I can send a message through Google Voice, and what it's going to do is, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll send a new message. So let me send it to myself. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send, um, let me, let me just send this. Boom, boom, copy, paste. I'm going to send it. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to get an email and I don't know if it's going to pop up in time for me before I end this video, but I'll get an email here. Um, I just got a text right there. Um, so if that cell phone number that I just sent a text to is a FISBO or expired, you can see how that works. Um, the reason I use the Gmail is this. It's really cool. If that person responded to me, I'm going to get an email 
the email, and it usually takes a couple minutes for them to send it to me, but that email that I get from my Google Voice will allow me, because it's going to capture their cell phone and the software knows who their carrier is. So it will send me an email from that client texting me back off of my Google Voice and I can respond to them through email because Gmail has a really cool feature that lets you respond to a cell phone if you have the cell phone carrier email data. Not going to go into all of that right now, but when you use Google Voice and they respond to you, not only will you get a text if you have that Google Voice number assigned to your cell number, but you're going to get an email. And sometimes it takes about five minutes, so I don't know if we're going to get it for the purpose of this video. But that's it, guys. And so I can actually now start emailing them, and it'll go to their, it'll go to their cell phone from my email. So I think you can see the power of that. So um, you can you can email these people and say something like if it's a FISBO, you could you could, you know, hey, would you like some buyers for your home? Send that text. If they come back and say, yeah, what's the catch? Call them. Don't hey, can I just call them? Hey, this is Kelly EXP Realty. Um, thank you for responding. I actually do have some buyers I would love to give you for free. I'd like to meet you. I'm not going to ask you to list your home with me. I just want to meet you, share with you a little bit about what I do to attract buyers to my listings and give you your first 10 free home buyers looking in your area. All right, I've said too much. I've gone a little longer than what I wanted. But guys, you can use this, this process to go after expires and FISBOs and literally every morning that you wake up, send these out. So let's say you do five a day. Let's say you do it seven days a week, 35 a week. That's 120 to 140 emails going out. Let me ask you this. If you just had a 1% return on that in terms of getting a listing, would you want to do one listing a month? What about one listing every other month? Would you spend five minutes a day, 30 days a week doing that? You're going to have to answer that, not me. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click below. I'm going to put this on YouTube. Click below and leave me some comments. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And guys, if you're a real estate agent and you're at a point where you're thinking, you know what? I'm ready to ramp up my business. I'm not happy where I'm at. If you're happy where you're at, kick off now. God bless you. Love you. Subscribe to my channel and uh, get ready and hit the bell so that anytime I put more of these marketing videos out, you'll get it. But if you're an agent, you want to have a conversation with an EXP agent to find out why they moved their entire business to EXP. How has that process been? What's been the benefits? What's been some of the negatives? But why did you move your business? I would love to have that conversation with you. Look below. There's a Calendly schedule link. Have a 15-minute call with me. Here's my promise. I'm not going to recruit you. I'm not going to go after you and try to motivate, pressure you. I'm going to answer any question you have. How about that for honesty? All right, guys, I appreciate you. Um, make sure, again, you hit the subscribe and bell and look for my next video coming up this week. Have a fantastic day and go get you some.